yes, get in. Those are the games that really can make a difference in the season. The difference between one point and three. That is the first time since I can remember, like since Ferguson left, that I think we've like nicked it right at the end, especially since Watford equalised in like the 85th, 86th minute. That's the only time we've came back and, and got a goal back and managed to win the game. So it was fantastic. A great team spirit, great character, as Brendan Rodgers would say now. But in all seriousness... Right, I was delighted with the way we performed for around 60 minutes and then Watford took the advantage like, as soon as we were forced into Jones getting subbed off uh, and we had Paddy McNair there, they, they managed to create a lot of chances and credit to Watford, all right? they didn't sit back, they weren't one of these teams that literally sit 10 men behind the ball and just let United do their passing. They actually played a high pressing game and it made for an entertaining game of football, particularly in the first half because there was a lot of mistakes made by both sides because when you're high pressing, you're under pressure, you've got to make a decision and there was a lot of interceptions being made for both sides, particularly us in the first half though, we did play very, very well. We had a few clear-cut opportunities, but the goal fell to Memphis, and I'm delighted, all right? He has got a chance because Rooney's injured, Martial's injured, and he's took it today. He got man of the match. Uh, personally, my man of the match is David De Gea, but still, he did do very well. Probably his best, well, certainly his best Premier League game for Manchester United, and his second best behind Club Rouge Memphis. But anyway, it's a great ball in from Herrera, who unfortunately got injured later in the match. But a brilliant ball, and it's 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 a striker's finish, really. It's just a, a well-placed volley. All he does is literally takes the power off the ball and guides it into the top right. A brilliant goal. And from then on in, I thought we would really kick on. But we didn't. We struggled to find that second goal. Watford, credit to them, they were great defensively. And we did snatch it a lot of opportunities, particularly in the second half. Um... The, well, the best chance of the game that didn't end up as a goal felt to Lingard. It's an unreal ball from Daly Blind. This is like one of his balls that he did for Van Persie in the uh, in the World Cup. It's it's the first touch ball from his own half, and it goes straight to Lingard. It's perfect. Gomez is completely in no man's land. All Lingard has to do is elevate it over the goalkeeper, and it's 2-0. Unfortunately, he doesn't. He hits it straight at the goalkeeper, and from then on in, Watford pressed. They did have a lot of opportunities in the second half. A great save from David De Gea. A shot deflected off Smalling's head, and he, he somehow manages to get it right behind him and uh, scoops it. Well, saves it. Not scoops it. What the hell am I banging on about? But anyway, they uh, Watford get a penalty. And in my opinion, I do, obviously I'm a Man United fan, but if you look at it, they're analysing on match of the day, so I suppose my opinion might change then. But if you do look at it, yes, Rojo is it's a tussle and bustle, but if you look, Agarlo is already going down, he's already falling, and then there's the contact on the on the uh, leg or whatever. But anyhow, they get a penalty, and to be honest, Troy Deeney was a little unlucky earlier in the game. Two fantastic saves from David De Gea again, even though they were hit straight at him, particularly the one he caught. It's really, really hard to not parry that. The fact he caught it is unreal given the power, but anyway, Troy Deeney scores the penalty. And that's the first goal we've conceded in 630 minutes. The last goal we conceded was a deflected penalty against CSK Moscow, where David De Gea saves it and uh, Dumbia just slots it in. So it shows that our defence is actually really good this season, and that's helped by Schweinsteiger and Schneidlin being played in CDM roles. Schweinsteiger, later on though, we actually show ball. We, we go for it, as uh, <laughs> as Lou Van Howe would say, we go for it, but uh, no... Smalling gets a back heel, it's a great save, it's a corner, Smalling back heels it and a great save from Gomez, but then we get another corner, Gomez again parries it I think and it finds its way to Schweinsteiger, now it's going to be given as a Troy Deeney on goal because it isn't even on target, but I just wish it had been given to Schweinsteiger, I went mental because I thought it was Schweinsteiger's goal, his first for Manchester United, but the search keeps continuing, but I'm not bothered, I'm sure the team are going to be more delighted for the fact that we've actually gained the three points and temporarily at least, we are top of the league. I don't expect us to be top at the end of the day because I think Man City will beat Liverpool, Arsenal will beat West Brom and I think Leicester will beat Newcastle so we'll probably be fourth again but it's good because we're keeping pace with the pack and as I say it's a difficult ground to go to particularly this season only Arsenal and Crystal Palace have scored at Vicarage Road this season uh, well and us now so it's a good performance solid three away points and now we have to take this into 
the PSV game, qualify for Champions League, and then Leicester away. That is a key game. We really, really need to beat them. The form they're on, the form Vardy and Mahrez are on, it's not going to be easy, but I believe we can do it. So come on, United.